solo player got it. I don't care if I have to play as orange for a couple of days. Welcome to Watch Mojo Anime, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 anime fights where the hero takes zero damage. Number 10, Diablo vs. Edelgard. How not to summon a demon lord. <laughs> Despite her formidable skills and the hellish hordes at her back, Edelgard found herself woefully unprepared for Diablo and his level 150 swag. Impervious to her strikes, the OG Demon Lord responded in kind with a single spell that not only sent Edelgard and her wardrobe packing, but also wiped out an entire bridge and a good chunk of her forces. Number 9, Meliodas vs. Derriere and Monspeeds, The Seven Deadly Sins. Following on from his quick jaunt through Purgatory, Meliodas manages to save his beloved Elizabeth at the last second, all before decimating the combined might of two of the Ten Commandments like they were nothing. Thanks to his new ruthless change in personality, it doesn't take the Dragon Sin of Wrath long to beat the blessing out of Derriere, all before using his full counter to reflect Monspeed's power back at them, turning the two demons to ash. Number 8, Ryuko vs Takaharu. Kill the kill. This boxer should thank his lucky stars he got to fight Ryuko when she was still embarrassed about wearing senkets. Otherwise, he might have ended up losing more than just his clothes. In spite of the fact her talking uniform is a tad on the revealing side, the immense power of the Kamui was more than enough to stop Fukuroda's punches from causing any damage whatsoever, paving the way for Ryuko to bust out the scissor blade and send him packing. Impossible, 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 impossible! Number 7, Mirio vs. Class 1A. My Hero Academia. <laughs> Even with the combined talents of Deku, Todoroki, Ida, and the rest, they're all woefully unprepared for the unbridled power of this third-year student. Mirio may look a tad on the dorky side and somehow always end up naked, but that doesn't take away from the fact he took down each member of Class 1A with a single strike. They probably should have brought Bakugo along. Number 6, Rimuru vs. Ifrit. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. Kind of hilarious that after emerging from Shizu embroiled in hellfire, looking like a nigh unstoppable devil, the horned firestar can't even singe one slime. Thanks to his predator ability, Rimuru was easily able to put an end to the raging beast that had plagued his one true waifu, allowing him to end the scorching scuffle without ever having to worry about getting burnt. Number 5 Zoro vs Hyozo One Piece we all know the vice captain of the Straw Hats can take way more punishment than the average mortal, so while we weren't worried about him losing his life, many of us were still convinced he would at least get scratched when going up against a drugged up octopus with a blade in each tentacle. Nope. After two years of training, Zoro's skills had excelled so much that cutting apart the fishman's weapons was almost second nature. Yozu really should have called it quits there instead of trying to launch a sneak attack with a bunch of half-broken poison-covered swords. Number 4, Reagan vs. Claw, Mob Psycho 100. We still can't get over the fact that the one to bring this division of a psychic criminal organization to its knees was Reagan. After being imbued with Mob's Esper abilities, Reagan manages to make short work of Claw's elite forces. Not only breaking apart their powers like they were nothing, but also breaking their spirits by giving them a harsh dose of reality. Number 3, Einzel Gohn vs. Clementine, Overlord. Look at it this way, Clementine. You might have ended up getting slowly crushed to death by a skeletal ruler with a grudge, but look at the bright side. You're the only one who managed to make the ruler of Nazarick use his own bony hands to kill someone as opposed to relying on magic. After butchering his human companions, the sadistic mercenary looked to put an end to the dark warrior named Momonga, only to discover there was more to him than meets the eye. 
なんで死ぬの答え合わせと行こうか。<笑> Even slamming blades into his eye sockets proved fruitless as the life is literally squeezed out of there. Number two, Kirito vs. Titan's Hand Guild, Sword Art Online. While escorting a fellow player on a journey to revive a beast companion of his, the two were ambushed by guild members looking for trouble. Unfortunately for Rosalia, she and her crew ended up targeting the one guy that can't be taken down. <laughs> Thanks to a handy health regenerating item, Kirito was able to just stand back and let the rest of them hack away as they please, which only resulted in them looking like idiots as they desperately tried to take down an immortal piñata. Number 1 Saitama vs. Suiryu One Punch Man Despite his immensely cocky attitude, Suiryu proved himself to be a martial arts prodigy whose immense skills would excel in any other series. Alas, he's forced to share a stage with the world's strongest man, who not only takes no damage from one of his full frontal assaults, but manages to win the match by just shaking his hips around. <laughs> 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 <laughs>